Okay, so last time we did one of these videos, we looked at the absolute essentials that you need to take when you're bikepacking, the obvious stuff like, like having a sleeping bag with you. Today, we're gonna run through some of the smaller things that you might forget about first time round and will instantly regret and will never ever forget again, but we'll help you out on that first trip so you don't need to, to go through the pain like all of us have done at some point in the past. Start with the first one, tiny little first aid kit. Um, kind of just got all the essentials in there. It's not absolutely necessary, I don't always carry one but it's kind of useful just to have. Um, and as you can see, that's tiny. It doesn't take up any room. Get rid of that. Uh, pump. You should have a pump on a ride anyway. Um, what we have got around here though is just a bit of gaffer tape. Um, handy for just doing some repairs on the fly. You, you tear your, your tent fabric, tear a jacket, then you can just patch it up there. I've patched up tires with it before as well. And we've actually got a bit of electrical tape on there as well. One thing that I don't always think to carry, but is actually a really good idea, is just some written down uh, notes to, to the route that you want to take, just in case you have complete failure if your GPS, you lose your map, whatever. Uh, and also just contact numbers of, of a few, A, emergency contacts, and B, anybody that you're riding with. Again, they lose their phone, something happens, it's really useful just to be able to, be able to get in contact with people. A uh, pen knife of some sort. I really like Leatherman style one because you've got some pliers which can be quite useful for repairing certain things. Stuff like um, the valve on, uh, on tubeless valves. Uh, if you need to take off the core or it's loosened then that can be quite handy if it's got stuck. Um, but something like an Opinel is fine as well. And Opinel, what I quite often do is bring both and use that for repairs to the bike. And then if I'm actually using a knife for cooking then I'll, I'll go with, with that. So spokes, personally, I never really carry them with me, but um, I know certainly people who do. Uh, if you are going to bring some, then obviously, first of all, make sure that uh, you have the right size for your wheel and also you have the know-how in terms of how to fit it. And you've also got a spoke key to, to fit one. Cable ties, I do always bring with me. They're so useful for, for various little repairs. Um, trying to think of some examples seen rear mechs bodged back together using them, lost chainring bolts. Um, got to the point where a friend lost three of the four chainring bolts that they had on a single ride, and we used cable ties to hold the chainring in place. Probably not recommended for, for, for a long-term fix, but it got us home that day. Um, so yeah, always worth having a few of those in the bag. Bit of paracord can come in handy for things like if you need an extra guy line for your tent, tarp, again, repairs on the fly. Little head torch. Um, you'll probably actually have a head torch or a light on your bike anyway if you are going bikepacking. I quite like to just have something really little for seeing around camp. Um, this is not particularly bright, but it's perfect for just cooking by and everything else. And as you can see, it's absolutely tiny. Little mini toothpaste, and we've even gone weight saving, check that out, sawn off toothbrush. To be honest, I've got pretty bad teeth anyway. If I'm out for just one night, then I won't necessarily always bother with this, but definitely for, for more than one night, it's nice to stay fresh. Ziploc bags, really useful for just keeping your phone dry, keeping other essentials dry as well, if the weather's bad. On multi-day rides, a little bottle of lube is really useful. Just keep the chain running nice and smoothly. Do know a few people who, you know, the little um, like sushi, little mini fishes, if you rinse that out, get rid of all the soy sauce and load it up with a little bit of lube, then that's perfect amount for a couple of days worth of riding there. And obviously takes up a little bit less space than, than even this does. Okay, this is the new Restrap Race Range Musette. It's perfect for just adding a little bit of extra capacity really. So while it's bundled up, stash that in your frame bag or somewhere. Get to a shop towards the end of the day, you need to carry a little bit more food to, to where you're camping for the night maybe, um, unroll it actually a decent amount of carrying capacity in there and then when you're all done pack it away and shove it in the the frame bag again so yeah it's just great for that extra capacity when you need it and then finally this is actually the 14 litre saddlebag i think a few things in here first of all just a nice warm hat to pull on this super light down jacket is amazing actually i probably use it every single month of the year. It's great in the winter in a bothy. It's so good in the summer as well, just for adding a little bit of weight and packs down to, to very little, as you can see. Then I've just got some merino leggings, merino top, and uh, actually a merino buff as well. And I'll kind of change that a little bit depending on the time of year. 
from staying in a hostel and it's summer then perhaps just a merino t-shirt and a pair of shorts and that's about it and that packs down to to about as little as possible nice thing about merino as well is that after a few days it doesn't stink too bad either um some of the synthetic stuff gets pretty hanging to be honest um if you're out by yourself doesn't really matter too much but if you're with others then they might appreciate it so hopefully that's given you just kind of a good idea about some of the, the essentials or really useful things to take with you when you're bikepacking. Um, I'm sure as you get a bit more experience and actually you go out and start using these things yourselves, there'll be things that you decide that you want to add or maybe even take away from, from that list. Um, but yeah, just get out there and enjoy it. Mm -hmm.